What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Today we're going to focus in on the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning re-signing Tyler Johnson to a three-year extension that'll pay him uh, about three and a half million a season for ten million total. Very, very mutually uh, beneficial deal. Um, I, I think it, it works out. You know, it buys Johnson a few years to really get himself even more established and you know become a perennial thirty goal scorer. And, uh, you know, 25, 30 goal score. He had 24 goals. Set on a Lightning rookie record, which has to be taken with a grain of salt because it buried Mel Roasted and uh, pissed all over Steven Stamkos' confidence and limited his ice time early on. Uh, Steven Stamkos definitely would have got himself in that uh, 25, 30, 35 goal range. But, you know, it is what it is with, uh, with that situation. Having said that, um, you know, I think Tyler Johnson is, is coming off, you know, he is coming off an amazing World Championship for Team USA being the number one center. And I think that's going to help him going into next season. The Lightning have an amazing core of young talent. And, uh, you know, if you saw my piece here and then the, the piece I, I wrote for Rant Sports, it would behoove um, Mr. Ryan Callahan to take a look around and say, I should stay here because there's a lot of talent and I can play my game, not have to be a big time scorer and help the team win a ton of hockey games. And I think that's what the situation is going to be. Keevan Johnson in the fold for three more years. You know, he's a Calder Trophy finalist. Nathan McKinnon uh, has that thing locked up, but that's a different story. You know, they still have moves to make the Lightning. Palat needs to be re-signed. Obviously, Callahan. I'd like to see them get Bishop signed now. Uh, you know, Killor needs a new deal. Uh, JT Brown, a few other guys, but you know I think those deals will get done, and the Lightning will continue to be a contender in the Eastern Conference. I mean, you know I think he's going to be a, um, I think Tyler Johnson is going to be a major part of their future, as he really brings a whole, you know, variety of things to the game on a night and night out basis. And you know he's not the biggest guy. You know it's important to remember that. I mean he's a guy that was passed over, he was undrafted. The uh, Lightning signed him. The uh, and he was um, he's been a, a, a prominent point producer and a good secondary score, good penalty killer. Had uh, five shorthanded goals this year, which is tied to Brad Mash yet for the most in the league. And I think he is um you know, I think he's gonna be a, a part of the future, a part of the team for many years beyond this three year extension. And I think again that next deal will be worth more money because he'll play himself into a bigger contract and I think he'll be um you know, he'll be ready to get paid with a big deal. Yeah, you know, I think he's 23, 24, so he's um he's got some growing to do, and uh, as a player, I mean, he's still not, he's not the biggest guy at uh, five. Was he generally gener generously the listed at uh, five nine? But uh, you know, brings a lot of heart and will be a contributor again to uh, the Lightning in a number of ways for many many years. Anyway, that's all in this episode of the Power Play with CJ on the uh, Lightning resign of Tyler Johnson with three year extension. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.